Primal Strength Doc coming at you with a little Monday morning mobility. Today I wanted to focus on the shoulder. So I wanted to focus on mobilizing and opening up this front arm line while we get some activation on that back arm line. A lot of us get into this rounded shoulder posture. We're on our phones, at the computers. We get this little shrug here or we're breathing too much with our accessory muscles. So we get a lot of tightness up through this area. And then that backside is not as active or engaged as we want. So I'm gonna pair these together. One of the things people often forget too is our pec goes all the way to the sternum. All right, so a lot of times people will work all right here. Don't forget, we want to get along that sternum and under that clavicle. So I'm gonna use the NB Vibe from Trigger Point here. It's a little bit bigger. It's about the size of a softball. You can get into that area a little bit better, especially for my ladies that have a chest. We wanna get into this area, or if you only have a lacrosse ball, get a yoga block or a thicker book or something and then put it on there so you can get that pressure or get up against the wall. So I'm actually gonna start almost on the sternum there. Ideally for you guys, I would have you not be looking up. I'm looking at the camera at you guys. All right, keep that neck nice and neutral. We love to cheat with that upper trap and cervical extensors, all right? So don't let the shoulders come all the way up to your ears. Keep them down and relax. That's actually a way to work that lower trap and those back scapular stabilizers. All right, so I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna lift up my butt, get some more weight on the front so I can get a little more pressure. All right, I'm gonna work under the border of the clavicle. So along that subclavius, our, our clavicle should be able to move. It should roll and slide as we go through some shoulder motion. If we lack some mobility in that clavicle, that could be part of the reason we're having some issues in the shoulder. So that is something to always assess. Remember, this is not medical advice here. Get assessed by a practitioner if you are having issues so you can have a custom program. So next I wanna move into pairing some arm mobilization with activation. So by doing this here, thumb up, raising up in all different ranges, ideally go ahead, put your hand on your fist or your head on your fist so you're not using your neck and upper trap and going through a bunch of arm motion here. So while you're mobilizing the front and telling the brain to relax and get that shoulder back, we're activating the back. My favorite move to work on controlling the full range you have is gonna be a swimmer. So hand's gonna go on the back, other hand can go here. All right, we're gonna lift up as high as you can, keeping it high, rotate, keeping it high, as high as you can, all the way around, all the way to the top, and then all the way back. You guys might find it's hard to keep it raised up, up in the front. That's okay, we wanna work on that. So maybe you just come here and work on little raises. All right, ideally we wanna be able to clear the head. If you can't even lift it off the floor, let's get off the side of the bed, off the side of the sofa, a treatment table, something to have some of that range to work on your end range. So that's something we wanna work on mobilizing and also stretching. Is it a lat issue and you can't even get your arm into this position? Shoulder rotational issue and capsule can't get extended and externally rotated. So if you're having trouble with this, reach out, get assessed, all right? So ideally we're gonna mobilize the front of both here and then we're gonna go through. So now that I kind of mobilized a little bit on both, I did more on my left, my left's the one that needs it more. And then we're gonna go through, all right? So head's gonna be nice and neutral, hands on the back. You're gonna lift up around here and then back. All right, so once again, lift up, keeping it high, around, control, hold here and back. If you start to feel some pressure in the low back when you're up overhead, think about what you're doing, all right? Before you go, take that breath into that lower belly, get that core pressure. That will help stabilize that lower back, all right? So if I turn a little bit so you guys can see here, all right? If I take that breath in, you're gonna see it kind of flatten here. I wanna maintain that pressure, all right? So I'm gonna go here, take that breath in, keep that pressure, lift up and around. I should not be feeling pressure in that low back. So think about your breathing. 
You should be able to breathe through this whole movement. And then back. Give those a shot, see how it feels, modify as needed, and reach out if you guys have any questions.